Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor here and in today's video we talk about how to design the perfect haunted house for each of the nine Enneagram types. And what is the Enneagram you might ask? Well, the Enneagram is a map of trauma. So basically what the Enneagram does is, in a dialectical behavioral therapy way, it creates these schemas or these scripts that people tend to often follow and abide by. The Enneagram 1 is known to be the perfectionist and so the haunted house that is the best for Enneagram 1 is one that is very, very messy. A messy house with no rules and with videos replaying every single mistake that you made. On top of that, the Enneagram 1 might not really like an anything goes room where you can only wing it. And of course, uh, the worst thing that could ever happen for the Enneagram 1 would be a dishwasher improperly loaded and you cannot touch it. You can't rearrange the dishes. And of course, you might not really like a library of books filled with typos. Or how about a chaotic Tupperware cabinet? Yeah, sounds like a dream, right? So what's the worst case scenario for Enneagram Type 2? Well, the Enneagram Type 2 might really dislike a room full of your favorite people, but they're all ignoring you. They don't care about you. They don't even know you're there. And of course, they might really dislike doing all the things and somebody says, let me know if you need any help. And of course, the Enneagram 2 helper might really dislike a room full of self-sufficient people who don't need anything from you. And of course, the worst thing, people asking for your advice and then not taking it. Or how about Getting a list of all the unread task texts messages that you've ever sent anyone. They didn't read it, they didn't care. How about the Enneagram Type 3, the performer, known for being achievement oriented and for seeking popularity and approval from other people? The Enneagram 3 might not like a room where you aren't able to clean or pick up before people come over, right? People just show up at your house and they want to see your place and it's all a mess and people are going to think you're a slob. The horror. And of course, uh, the Enneagram tree type, type haunted house would be one where everyone is moving at a snail space and the order you go through the house is inefficient. Or how about a room full of anyone who has ever beaten you at anything boasting about it? Yeah. Loser, look at all these people. They're so much more attractive, so much more successful, so much more happy than you are. And the worst, a trophy room filled with your bronze medals because you only ever came third place, right? And if only you'd worked a little bit harder, you might have gotten there, right? Enneagram Type 4 Haunted House, a room where you, all you can talk about is the weather because the Type 4 is the individualist and they want to be special and they want to talk about deep and meaningful things, but hey, that's not possible in this Haunted House. Or how about a room where you have to match outfits with everyone? Yeah, everyone has to look the same, isn't it great? It's awesome, right? Or how about the last decade of popular pop songs playing on repeat? Because who likes indie music anyways, right? And finally, a room of people telling you to calm down. Why are you so upset? Why do you care so much? Come on, just go with the flow. How about Enneagram Type 5 Haunted House? The Enneagram Type 5 is known as the Sage. They want to know everything. And of course, they tend to be hoarders that don't really like socializing with other people. Yeah, okay. So the Enneagram Type 5 Haunted House will contain a cocktail party filled with mingling small talk and not a single wingman. Yeah, you're gonna have to socialize all on your own. You're gonna have to go up to people, make chit chat and introduce yourself sounds great right or how about your entire family now showing up announced unannounced right okay your entire family showing up without any mention 
Hey dad, hey mom, good to see ya. Uh, and of course, a snack room that requires you to share every intimate detail of your life. Because hey, what's your biggest secret? Just open up a little bit, tell us about yourself. No? Your five cave isolation dream room. But you must cry before you're allowed to enter. That might be difficult for the logical and detached vibes. And the Enneagram Type 6 haunted house, a loud group of strangers with no plans or expectations for the night. And not having a map of said haunted house ahead of time to prepare and all of your worst case scenarios playing on a big screen. Yeah, you could have seen that coming, right? Like, you probably spent a lot of time worrying about it and here it is. Uh, as a haunted house. <laughs> and of course, a list of tasks, but zero supplies to complete them. Yeah, the Enneagram 6 loyalists like to prepare ahead. They tend to be a bit anxious about what could happen and go wrong, and they like to make sure that they solve problems and issues before they come up. The Enneagram Type 7 haunted house would be a locked room with a notebook. Old Yeller and a walk to remember, playing on repeat on 15 TVs. Yeah, you sit down and relax and think for a bit. Just think. Confront those inner thoughts and feelings that you've been running from. Or how about a therapist who want, just wants to talk about some of your past traumas? You don't want to talk about your past traumas. You want to go out and have fun, right? Distract yourself from all those thoughts. But hey, there's your therapist. And he wants you to open up. How about this? Not being invited to Christmas because you're too extra. Yeah. No Christmas for you this year. It's too, you take it too far. You're too excited. You're too enthusiastic. Or how about you're locked in this room until seven but the party starts at five yeah you're gonna be two hours late enneagram type eight the worst thing for you would be a room filled with people crying and walking slowly in front of you and how about a room filled with people that can't make up their minds or commit yeah you just want to make a decision you want to be the authoritative figure you want to be the ruler, you want to be the challenger, you want to get things moving, but here you're dealing with people crying on one side and people who can't make up their minds on the other. Or what about people protesting for a cause they are completely uneducated about? Yeah, apparently we're supposed to um, ban and remove all 5G masks because they're poisoning us. I read so on Facebook Sounds great, right? You wanna join? Or how about a room filled with people asking you to lower your voice? Yeah, can you not speak in a calm and civilized manner and stick to your turn? And lastly, Enneagram 9, the peacemaker who just wants to avoid conflict and is sometimes a little bit lazy and prone to procrastination. What's their haunted house like? Well, first of all, expect a room filled with all your anger and now you have to deal with it. Okay, think about everything that's upset you in the last year and confront those feelings. Really feel the blood pumping in you and really recognize that that's there. Okay, we're a room where nobody can see you. You're invisible. Uh, huh, okay. A house with no beds or couches? Yeah, where are you gonna sit down? How are you gonna relax? How are you gonna procrastinate away your day? You had plans. You were going to do something meaningful today. You were gonna lay in bed for all day long, thinking about all the things you're supposed to be doing, but don't really have the energy for. And lastly, a to-do list. And it has to be completed before you're allowed to leave. Yeah, you're gonna have to get things done. Sounds great, right? Okay, let's be real. Enneagram 2 is an absolute nightmare to me. 
imagine if not a single person clicked in to watch this video, not a single person liked it, not a single person commented, nobody subscribed. I think often, uh, I think people are just very community oriented. I think we can all relate to, you know, feeling of being ignored or being disliked or not being listened to or not being heard, especially by people we love and care about, right? So in a sense, Enneagram 2 one really, really um, hurts me into the bones. Scary one. Anyways, those are the Enneagram type haunted houses. Which haunted house would be your favorite and which one would be your horror? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy these react style videos, let me know in the comments down below. See you all in the next video.